Well, Larry, meet Charlie Wall, first mob boss of Tampa from 1920 to 1950. Undoubtedly, it was his idea to hand out Cuban sandwiches to anyone who would continue rolling in the factory through lunch. He is probably responsible for selling more Cuban bread than any other person on earth. Some of those workers undoubtedly rolled and lick-sealed the very cigars you enjoyed as a young man. Charlie himself enjoyed them and undoubtedly smoked many at the safe house he kept on the corner of the Rich Lone Forest, behind which, in a sinkhole, many 1930 series cars have been found. And so we begin with the making of Cuban bread. Just so you know, this is the amount of lard the Cubans would put in the same amount of flour. And this is the amount we're going to use to butter our pan. Just that little sliver right there. A lot of us love Cuban bread, but we don't love the lard that goes in it. And that little amount of uh, fat is all we're going to do. We're just going to take and get a little bit in it and grease our pan. And once that's done and we put our uh, bread in to rise the second time, it's going to absorb all that aroma. And then when we bake it, uh, our olfactory senses are going to say, Bacon! But we're not actually getting even a lick of it. So, um, you know. Larry, let's make some Cuban bread. So Connie's mixing up the ingredients. And all of this is familiar to you since you're, you're, you're doing it with the... Uh, regular recipe. We're putting in our yeast, salt, sugar. Mixing that up. Adding our bread flour and uh, stirring that down. And now I'm going to cover it and it'll rise overnight and we'll just uh, bake it off in the morning. Next morning we have success and we're just going to add a little flour so it's not sticky. Roll it into that grease pan we talked about and let it rise for 40 minutes. All right, Larry, it's been uh, 40 minutes. Our dough has risen under our uh, homemade Dutch oven here with our little stationary clips. Now we can go two ways and I'm going to teach you how to make loaf bread because outside of the Cuban community and bakeries uh, you just don't see it and, and people don't realize how delicious that is for their white bread. Or we can make baguettes for Cuban sandwiches and uh, those are always overcooked, but I'm going to show you how you roll that out. You're going to cut what comes out of here into three equal pieces and roll it into a square. Now once you've got it in a square, we're going to take and just roll this up jelly roll style, tight, as tight as you can make it and cut this to whatever length you think you're you're going to do. If you want to get fancy, take some water and pat it and you'll get that glossy look. Or uh, like the Cumans do with a piece of palm frond, they'll lay it in here. But you can take a knife and go right down the center and you get that M-shaped top. Bake this off. 20 to 25 minutes at 450 degrees. Throw some cornmeal in your little baking pan so it doesn't stick on the bottom. Larry, we've been uh, baking now 40 minutes with our little homemade Dutch oven. We're going to pull the top off and go 10 minutes more. Same thing you're doing now. All right. 
Alright, after 10 minutes this is how it comes out, Larry. And uh, we're going to put this on a rack, roll it out on a rack. Alright, and there's your uh, Cuban baked bread.